Hello, this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is public key encryption. In public key encryption, two different keys are used to encrypt and decrypt the data. These two different keys are mathematically related. One is a public key, the other is private key. They come as a pairs. The public key encryption is also known as a symmetric key encryption because these two different keys are used. In public key encryption, Public key is public to anyone, while the private key belongs only to the person who create these two keys. Here is an example. Tom is sending a lovely message to Mary, and they agree to use the public key encryption to encrypt his message. Remember, public key encryption to encrypt the sender's message starts with the receiver, Mary. Here is how it works. First, Mary creates a pair of keys, one public key and one private key. She keeps the private key and gives the public key to Tom. After Tom writes his message, he uses his public key to encrypt it. When Mary gets the encrypted document, she uses the private key to decrypt it. Remember, the public key method to encrypt the sender's message starts with the receiver, not the sender. The public key is public to everyone. The private key is only known to the receiver. Here is another example. Suppose Bob wants to send an encrypted message to Alice and they use the public key encryption. My questions are, who creates the keys? Who uses the public key and who uses the private key? And how many steps are there in the whole process? You can pause the video to think about these questions. Well, here is the answer and all the steps they take in the whole process. Step 1. Alice creates a pair of keys, one public key and one private key. Alice puts the public key in a public key server, which anyone can access. Step 2. Alice informs Bob where he can get her public key. Step 3. Bob gets the Alice public key as he followed Alice's in instructions. Step 4. Bob writes the message and uses Alice the public key to encrypt it. Step 5. Bob sends his encrypted message to Alice. Step 6 or last step. Alice uses her own private key to decrypt Bob's message. Although Alice's private key can verify no one read or changed the document in transport, it cannot verify the sender. Because Alice's public key is public, anyone can use it to encrypt his document and send it to Alice while pretending to be Bob. In order to prove the sender, they need another technique, digital signature which is another story in another video. Thank you very much and see you next time.